The objective of the Solar Electric Propulsion Project is to enable or be a step change in solar electric propulsion. Right now it's used in station keeping for a lot of geocomsats. What we're trying to do is take it a step further and have this electric propulsion used as the primary propulsion for satellites. We need to make larger solar arrays that can power these higher power thrusters. Um, the issue with that is you need them to be stowed for your launch vehicle and they need to be autonomously deployed. We also have support from folks at Glenn and Langley uh, supporting that work. Historically, there was the NSTAR mission and Dawn, and those were on the order of about two and a half kilowatts of um, electric propulsion. The advanced EHF was on the order of 10 kilowatts, and that's where they utilized electric propulsion in a manner that it was not designed for, and it succeeded. Uh, it saved a, mil a billion dollar asset. And then the st what we're looking at is a 30 kilowatt SEP TDM. So this would be a step change from the current state of the art, so it's about a factor of three, to then something that could support human exploration. And that's on the order of 100 kilowatts, 300 kilowatts. What exactly that is, we don't know for sure because the different architectures are trading, but it's on the order of 100 to 200 kilowatts for human exploration. So as far as compared to chemical propulsion, we don't need as much propellant and uh, electric propulsion is much more efficient as well. And we're utilizing power from the sun to power our thrusters and also other onboard electronics. So we're utilizing capturing the sun's power with our arrays, using that to power our, our thrusters. So our tanks that we need to power our thrusters, the xenon, are much smaller than what you would utilize for uh, chemical propulsion. So what that does is it allows you to either send more payload or to utilize smaller launch vehicles, both of which save you a lot of money because it, it costs so much to send things into space. There's four main objectives for the mission. There's um, technology, so technology development, infusing new technology. There's capability, so having a new capability, a new system, um, an integrated uh, system, which is again the same, and extensibility, something that can be used not only for this TDM, but infused for human missions and also for industry. So those would be our four objectives that we're gearing towards what this mission will be targeted. SEP can be applied to a broad range of missions. Um, they would range from science missions to human exploration missions to DOD to satellite servicing to a, a plethora of industry opportunities. So there's a lot of things that this um, particular TDM could enable.